a very good morning students children as you know we are doing subject and predicate as we discussed that subject is the part of the sentence that tells you who or who we are talking about and predicate is the part of the sentence that tells you about the subject we have done few exercises from subject and predicate let us continue with another exercise this time this exercise which we are going to do in this module is in your workbook children in workbook page number 48 in page number 48 of your workbook this exercise is given and children it is in b3 question number b3 in your workbook okay circle the subject and underline the predicate in the given sentence see children this time it is little different that's why i told you please read the question how they have asked here they have not asked you to underline the subject sometimes what happens children we keep on doing underline the subject and without reading the question the instruction given in the question we underline but this time it is circle now in your word book it is given circle the subject and underline the predicate so here it is opposite never mind we will do it and you have to just do the Think what is given in your in as an instruction to in your work. question. Number one, English is an interesting subject. English is an interesting subject. Now, about whom we are talking? We are talking about the particular subject called English. Okay, so English is my uh, subject, and I will circle it. This time, I have to circle it. I will circle English. Okay, English is the subject. And is an interesting subject is my predicate here. I have to underline. Is an interesting subject is my predicate, and that is and I have to underline. And as you can see, it starts with a helping verb. Okay, is 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 my helping verb. So English is an interesting subject. English is subject is an interesting subject is predicate. Okay, coming to the second one. My sister won a medal in gymnastics. About whom we are talking? We are talking about my sister. So my sister is the subject which I will circle, and you also have to circle in your workbook. Okay, my sister is the subject, and what happened to my sister? She won a medal in gymnastics. So won a medal in gymnastics is my predicate which I will underline. Okay, as you can see here, it starts with a main verb, one, one a medal. So, who won the medal? My sister. So my sister subject won a medal in gymnastics. Gymnastics is a type of a sport, uh, and uh, she won the medal. Number three, the butterflies look beautiful. About whom we are talking? We are talking about butterflies, and not only butterfly, the butterfly. Okay. The butterfly is my subject, which I will circle. And what happened to the butterflies? They looked beautiful. Looked, as you know, it is a main verb. So this is my predicate. Looked beautiful. Okay. Who looked beautiful? The butterflies. Okay. Coming to the fourth one, children. Tina likes to eat cupcakes. Okay. And about who we are talking? We are talking about a girl called Tina. So Tina is my subject. Which I will circle and likes to eat cupcakes is my predicate. So likes to eat cupcakes will be underlined. And as you can see, this is a verb. So my predicate always starts with a verb. Number five, the book has many colorful pictures. About who we are talking? We are talking about the book. Okay. So the book is my subject. Which I have circled. The book is my subject and has many colorful pictures. Is my predicate. The whole thing, whole thing, children. Don't do half. Okay, I am not underlining only verb or something. We are underlining predicate. Now, as you can see, has. As I told you, has is a helping verb. Has is a helping verb. So, has many colorful pictures. Is my predicate. Okay. Who who has colorful pictures? The book. Okay. Number six. Kolkata is called the city of joy. About whom we are talking, children? We are talking about the city called Kolkata.
Kolkata. Yes. So Kolkata is the subject which I will circle. And what happened to Kolkata is called the city of joy. It's a city of joy. So I will underline the city of joy. Now, which one is called the city of joy? Kolkata. So Kolkata subject is called the city of joy. Ready. Coming to the seventh one, I am reading a book on birds. About whom this sentence is talking about? I. About man. Okay? Myself. Okay, so I is the subject. And what happened to I? I am reading a book on birds is the predicate. Now again you see children, am. Am is a helping verb. Am is a helping verb. Am reading a book. Again, main verb is also there. Am reading a book on birds is my Who is reading a book on birds? I. I subject. Am reading a book on birds. Predicate. And the last sentence, the eighth one. The train arrived at 6 p.m. Okay, about who we are talking in this sentence? About uh, we, which thing we are talking about? We are talking about the train. So the train is my subject, so I will circle it. And arrived at 6 p.m. is my predicate. As you can see, it starts with a verb. Okay, children. So who arrived at 6 p.m. the train? So these are the subject and predicate marked as subject as circle. We have circled the subject and predicate we have always. In number one, English subject is an interesting subject predicate. Number two, my sister subject won a medal in gymnastic predicate. Number three, the butterfly subject looked beautiful predicate. Number four, Tina subject likes to eat cupcakes predicate. Number five, the book subject has many colorful pictures predicate. Number six, Kolkata subject is called the city of joy predicate. Number seven, I subject am reading a book on birds predicate. And number eight, the train subject arrived at 6 p.m. predicate. So this is your subject and predicate in page number 48 of your workbook. Question number B3, please do it in your workbook itself. Underline and circle it. Thank you, children.